So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here. Today's question is about phase contrast uh, microscopy. I'll read out the question first, uh, then I'll try to answer it. So here we go. Hello, I was wondering if I can use a phase contrast condenser without its own set of objectives, but with the ones I already have on my microscope. And do you think there are any other things that I can do by owning only the phase contrast condenser? So, well, first of all, as always, thank you for the question. I think I need to give you a little bit of background information. A phase contrast microscopy is a slightly more advanced uh, technique which allows uh, you to see specimens that are of very low contrast, for example, bacteria, very thin, for example, if they do not have enough uh, pigment, uh, then they're very thin, and they can be very difficult to see. But phase contrast microscopy uh, will convert now the differences in so-called refractive index of the specimen, let's see, of the bacteria, of the cells, into a difference uh, of brightness. Um, so in other words, uh, we're able to see difficult to observe objects um, easily without having to use chemical stains. So chemical staining by adding a pigment, for example, methylene blue, saffron in solution, whatever, um, these chemicals generally also kill off uh, the cells because these are chemicals that react with the parts of the cells. And if you want to now observe live organisms under the microscope, um, then it can be a little bit difficult because sometimes they're very difficult to see. But phase contrast microscopy makes this possible. And uh, the question now is, is, is uh, if you already have a condenser, um, a phase contrast condenser like, like I have over here, um, are you then able to use any type of objectives uh, for the microscope, like the ones that you already have? And the short answer is no. And that's a little bit unfortunate because the objectives and the condenser, they have to match each other. And even from the same manufacturer, in this case, uh, this is a traditional Olympus uh, um, condenser. Even from the same manufacturer, if they're different series or different uh, models, then it might also not work. And uh, you therefore need, uh, besides a phase contrast condenser, dedicated phase contrast objectives as well. Now, what happens if you already have a condenser but no objectives? Um, can it be used for any other things as well? And uh, the short answer is, was, well, it kind of depends a little bit. This specific condenser, for example, has a regular bright field, yeah, and also a dark field, um, yeah, um, over here patch stop. So I can use this also for both bright field and dark field. Um, but then there are a couple of filters over here, those two filters over here, which are specifically used for phase contrast. And if I don't have an objective for those, then essentially, um, yeah, um, they will be kind of useless as well. However, under some circumstances, it is possible to use those phase contrast uh, annually as they're called, those phase contrast annually or filters, you can also use them um, for dark field imaging. Um, but this might not always uh, work very well, but um, I've had cases where this actually also is possible. So what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to now um, quickly explain to you the things that I've uh, illustrated now um, using a couple of, of videos that I made to make the whole thing a little bit more um, yeah, understandable. So these here are two phase contrast uh, objectives. You know that they're phase contrast because of the designation PL, which stands for positive low. Here also two phase contrast objectives. The left one is old. It's uh, from the old Olympus systems, significantly smaller, and the other one is the new one. And here this is uh, a phase ring. So when you take out a, a phase contrast uh, objective and look um, at it from behind, then you're able to see this phase ring, which is semi-transparent. Yeah? You also need a, a phase contrast condenser and in this case uh, it's a rotating condenser which allows you to use phase contrast besides bright field um, and also dark field so it's a multi-purpose condenser the two phase annuli are for 10 times and for 40 times yeah and uh, when you look at it in closer you notice it's made of plastic <laughs> so uh, interestingly this is uh, the more uh, the newer version of, of, of the condenser here in close-up again um, yeah, for the two magnifications and you have to center the condenser as well. I'm going to show you how to do that later. That's dark field and that is the iris diaphragm for bright field. So you see that it also is useful and usable for other contrasting techniques as well. Now this uh, condenser here is uh, made of metal. It's significantly heavier. Um, and uh, look, uh, it also has uh, more phase annuli for different uh, magnifications as well. And in this case, uh, yeah, there is a glass, uh, glass disc in there, uh, which was blackened out. In order to center the condenser, you need to replace one of the eyepieces with a so-called a phase telescope, which allows you to see the rings better. And 
and here you're able to center it so there is a lever on the left and the right side different uh, condensers can be centered in a different way and what you have to do now is, is by moving those levers you, and by looking through the phase telescope you have to uh, line up um, the ring from the um, objective uh, that is uh, the darker ring and uh, the, also the, um, the phase annulus which is the bright ring and you can see that the, it covers uh, each other so there is a perfect overlap um, and this is now the way that it should be here it doesn't work. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. You see that there is still a very bright area, so the two rings do not match, and this is actually the reason why you have to make sure that the objective and the condenser um, that they match. And this is uh, actually a problem that I had because uh, my initial setup it did not have matching condenser and and uh, and, and objective combinations. So, okay, now, uh, do you actually need phase contrast yourself? Um, it, and my opinion is, is um, it depends really um, what you want to do. Um, yeah, so if you just want to do general observation of, of water samples, of water specimens, I would say probably not, because water samples, which um, basically have fairly large specimens, very thick specimens, um, generally they do not look very good under phase contrast. Um, yeah, so, however, if you are really interested in observing primarily bacteria and if you're there if you want to observe now the different shapes of bacteria then um, the phase contrast again is I think um, yeah very important so it is really like this is if you know that you need it then you're definitely gonna have one and you're definitely gonna buy one um, but if you're not so sure about it it might not be worth it one of the reasons is it's because phase contrast um, uh, microscopy while it makes uh, very difficult to see objects visible it the uh, specimens don't always look very good okay so you're losing color you the natural colors kind of disappear and everything looks much more gray a uh, gray scale um, and uh, for this reason it might not always be um, yeah, quite as attractive okay and depending a little bit on of course on the specimens that you want to observe um, but um, the, yeah the colors are not quite as, as, as colorful as, as you might um, expect them to be and for this reason um, it might not be very useful for general purpose microscopy but if you already know that you need it then there is no way around it uh, in any case and I think I'm just going to leave it at that and of course I know that uh, many of you, some of you maybe also um, have experience with phase contrast microscopy and for this reason I of course would like to invite you to leave also your comments in the comment section below and, and uh, your opinion uh, as well. Happy microbe hunting, I invite you to subscribe to this channel of course, see you around next time, bye bye.